Hello strangers, how are we all doing? It's been a while since the last one. Not much has happened. I don't think anyway. So, um, only brought quite his coffee. I ain't really drank anything for... Come this weekend, it'll be three weeks. I've had two half pounds just to try the beer in the fridge. And that's it, so I've been on call, working that I'm on nights this week, so I've got no chance this week. Uh, last week I was all on call, but I was in Aberdeen for a day or so. Didn't realise how far that was up. Liverpool tonight. We're getting around. So, <coughs> so I ain't really touched anything. So, we're going to work weekend on a mystery tour. So, hopefully, hit the beers next this weekend. And not on call next week. Hit a few beers. And I'm on holiday in a couple of weeks. Hit some more beers. I mean, last time I spoke, I did the. Cold beer, which is in the keg. That's what the two samples of. And what have I wrote down about that then? Body bugger roll. The cold shit. Did it out of the Bible. I think I mentioned it before. Pulls the malt, carapils, and rice holes. And it helps with the sport select and technan. Yeah, I did mention it before because it was. One of them was low alpha acids on the hops itself than in the book. So I'm going to spar some more so we do the brew again. This I did two samples of it the other week, last week, and it, it, I, it, it was alright. So I will, I will brew it again. And I did mention about doing another brew that weekend or two. I managed to fit another brew in, I'm trying to use up what I've got grains and hops and then um, the zombie dust. So, did a zombie. It must have been that long ago since I did the video. Done a zombie in this in the keg now. Put it put it in the keg three days ago. It's been on two bar for two days. Just sent it down to one bar for saving. I double adjust it, and that's ready to drink. Hopefully next week when I can have some. So that's in the, in the keg. I was trying to find then. Yeah, so some zombies in the keg. What else have we got in the keg? To be fair, um, this is the first time brewing that I've had all my kegs full. So if you look in there, got two in there, and that's got the apple and rabbi net table cider, and no name pale ale. I can't remember what was in it. And the other fridge. I've had to put, I've had to put some locks on the fridges here. Let's put the locks on. Show you. Four cookers in there. I used to have a shelf in here, and, and put beers on it. But every time I open the door, the beer line used to pull the, the beers out on the floor. So I've had to take it out for the time being. So that's six, six kegs of beer. So I've got Tiger Bitter. Tap two is going to be the um, Zombie. Real bad beer. Colch. No name per ale. And Apple and beer. Starter. So I think the Tiger Beer and the Real Bab. They may be. Oh, maybe the no name, maybe on half a keg each but this is the first time i've had all kegs full what can you do there get my bad is it so the thing is i ain't been drinking it I managed to use this fridge i want to add the colch in this small fermentation fridge brewing away then doing a zombie put in here still not use me stainless steel for many yet don't know what i'm doing but the bees i had in in there, in the other fridge, I've put more into the, into this fridge, the temporary fix. What have you see in there? There, we're on the shelf on there. And the only problem I've got is the vinegar sending them off for being bad, I'm going to use them. They've all started blowing. Blowing there. And 
I wasn't going to drink this beer anyway, like, but even that's blown because <clears throat> of the heat in the shed. The kid said, Oh, we had a bang in the shed the other day. Came in, I was like, One thing I put down was that can of beer. So, so I can't really send them out because it's been that warm, it's been warm, cold, warm, cold. The beer I might not be good, it's probably over carb now. So, we'll get some beer, beers. Siphoned off some of the kegs, and I'm gonna set some beers out. Yeah, I promised some other people some beers, and I just haven't got around to doing them. It's been a lazy bum. So, so I'll try some of these beers myself, see what they like next week. So, if they're not good, then throw them away. I'll just make sure I put them in the fridge next time, so I might have to buy another fridge. So, if that's got beer in, and these got beer in, then I've got no fridges, and so I'll leave. You see the shelf I had in it. It did the plan. I mean, sir, but I can't keep putting bees in there and topping them on the floor. It's a waste of time. And I think that's it. No more purchases. I'll purchase some. Some more tubing. 12 more tubing for the auto siphon. Because you don't want to get a bit discoloured. Just, just got to go to the shop and pick it up. From post office, pick it up. So, another cool thing. There's a couple of new products on. I'm contemplating buying, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I want to start grilling me on me, grilling, milling me on grains, so I don't end up with all the fine crush when I'm making a beer. And the middle of the road mill is the bulldog miller. Doesn't, doesn't seem too bad. Use it behind the drills, which is good, but that's like hundred quid ago. So, uh, if it does the job, I don't mind paying the money. But, so it's a big chunk of change. And the next one is, even more ch big chunk of change. So, the other week, SS Brutech have brought out a, a kick cleaning. It's two minutes to text message. Yeah, so, I've got a text message off door. Where am I? I've got cellos in the shed. SS Brutech have brought out a, a kick cleaning kit. So, full of reservoir with the liquid, stick it all together, it cleans, it cleans the disconnects, the, everything all in one go. Cleans it all, move it to another bin, and it, and it cleans it all, rinses it, then you move to another one, then it, um, you can stabilise it. But there's also another version, Mark, Mark, Mark or something, Mark's cleaning thing, version 2, and that, um, that basically does the same. But often maybe a little bit cheaper. But that one's made abroad, so it had to get converted to our plug system, which kicking them, he bars them in, converts them, and he sells them. So we ain't getting them in for another maybe two or three months. And the the SS Protec is one nine nine, and the Mark's one is one twenty. So fuck it, it's a lot of money. Two hundred quid for cleaning the keg. I think I was getting one is because if I want to clean the keg, I have to go upstairs in the shower. The shower head, what I've got, I rinse it all out, it starts to get all scuff marks on it where I've been banging it on the keg. One of the granddaughters in the bed, in, 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 in the bedroom upstairs, it's just awkward cleaning it, banging it around. So I'm contemplating buying one of them. Maybe it might make my life a little bit easier where I can set it up in here or in the garden, start rinsing it and leave it and do something else. What, what, what do you guys think of them all? Have you seen them all? Has any of, them, any of you guys bought the one of the versions? I'm sure it's a Mark, Mark Kick Washer or something, Mac version 2, and the SS Brutech. So, I know you pay for what you get, but I think the Mark one does the keg as well as the fermenters. I think it's a lot of stars where you can, you can do them both, but the SS Brutech only does the kegs. So, any advice? So, I don't want to buy them if they're pants. I mean, they're not worth it, but, but it may save me a bit of hassle trying to clean everything upstairs. The back one seems alright, to say, doing the fermenters. I could do them in downstairs works, I do them in the bathroom as well. But it reminds me, I've got to buy two new ones because the ones that I've got are starting to smell a bit. So, they're right there, I'm going to buy two new. Another plastic one, two plastic ones. Uh, 
metal one, stainless steel. Anyway, what I know. So, any advice, guys? If you if you, you guys have bought one or tried one, just let us know. So I've waffled on. You don't see me for weeks, and I waffled on. So muffin house, finish my coffee, take the dogs out, and get ready for work for tonight. So take care, buddy, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.